the BW120K, also known as the Tap 59120, represents a significant development in China's tank modernization efforts during the 1990s. Born out of the Tap 59 medium tank platform, which has ceased production by the 1980s, the BW120K aimed to enhance the firepower and combat capabilities of China's armor forces. At its core, the BW120K was essentially a Type 59 tank retrofitted with a formidable 120mm main gun, a significant upgrade from the original armament. This enhancement aimed to provide the Chinese military with a tank capable of engaging mountain armor threats more effectively, aligned with evolving battlefield requirements. Basically, the BW120K is similar to its predecessor in design. The tank has a conventional layout with a fighting compartment at the front, an engine compartment at the rear, and a cast dome shaft gun turret in the center of the hull. The hull is squared as they are varying in thickness between 99mm on the front, lower glasses to 20mm on the hull floor. The turret varies from 39 to 100 mm thick. The Type 59120 is motorized with a 12150L V12 liquid cooled DHL engine, which develops 520 horsepower. The engine fits a manual gearbox with 5 forward and 1 reverse gear. A total of 850 liters of diesel can be carried internally in the tank, with a further 400 liters carried externally, giving a maximum road range of 600 kilometers, or approximately 430 kilometers using only internal fuel. The tank has five road wheels on each side, with a prominent gap between the first and second road wheel. The track is driven by a dry sprocket at the rear, with an idler at the front. There are no return rollers. The suspension is a torsion bar system. The engine exhaust is on the left fender. However, despite its promising capabilities, the BW120K journey was relatively short-lived. The decision by the People's Liberation Army to equip the Type 96 tank with a more powerful 125mm gun led to the cessation of further development of the 120mm gun variant. This strategic shift reflected the People's Liberation Army's commitment to staying at the forefront of armor warfare technology and adapting to emerging threats on the battlefield. While the BW120K may not have entered mass production or seen widespread deployment, its role in advancing China's tank modernization efforts should not be overlooked. It served as a testament to China's commitment to enhancing its armor capabilities and adapting to evolving nature of modern warfare.